Hi, so in this video, we are going to take a look at TinyDB, which is document oriented database for Python. So I'm on this TinyDB GitHub page. So if you scroll down, you will find all the information related to this small database. It is written entirely in Python and it is being NoSQL database in document oriented form. So it can let you do the transaction in key value pairs okay so we will take a look at that example but before that you have to install this on your computer by typing in pip install or you can see pip install tiny db and once you hit enter it will install it on your machine so you can simply hit backspace now and now what we will do is we will go to Python prompt. Let me minimize this. Okay, so now first thing to do is we are going to import tinyDB and query from tinyDB. So from tinyDB import capital T tinyDB then comma query so these two we are importing and from there I am creating one database file named as db.json so simply create one variable or object and then call for tinyDB method give it db.json as our database file name and this should create your tinydb database file which will store your key value pair in a json file okay so it is now created the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add something into this database so let's start type in db.insert and Inside this method, I'm using curly bracket to start my first key and I'm going to use fruit and then apple and next thing I'm going to use price as another key and give it price of say $10 and I'm going to close this and then insert it into my tiny database. If it returns one that means your data gets added now repeat this change the fruit to let's say orange and increase the price to let's say 25 now second data gets added as well let's add one more I'm going to use peach and give it a price of 15 add that into the database as well now I want to see all these database entries for that I'm going to type in db.all and this all method should print out our all the entries we just added into it so we have apple orange and peach Okay, so I'm going to search for a particular fruit, let's say orange, and for that I'm going to use one variable and it will call query instance. So this is ft equals to query and from here I'm going to search for that particular, let's say fruit. So for that I'm going to type in ft dot fruit and equal equals to it should show me orange and its price okay so typing that gives me price for orange as well so now let's search with price and then find out particular fruit let's say 25 is the price so it is finding out orange it's okay so if you try to give it 15 it should show you peach okay so now we know how to search through the data 
by pointing it out with the expressions now we are going to update it okay so type in db dot update and here i'm going to update the price so let's see price is here and let's make price as 12 okay and once we do that let's also change ft dot fruit equal equals to peach okay let's see if it changes okay it shows keyword cannot be an expression let me update this here i have to use double equals to sign and then hit enter now it accepted that now let's print out all our entries and as you can see price of peach is now changed what if i want to remove fruit that is priced below 12 so i'm going to type in db.remove and here i'm going to type in ft dot price less than 12 okay you can have space if you want if it flags error we will change it accordingly okay so it is now removed now print out all entries and you'll find only two of them are here now if you want to purge this data then simply type in db.purge which should remove our entries and then we want to delete our database which should delete so you can see db.all we will find nothing so our data and data entries are deleted so that was simple introduction to tiny db database for python